Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hike Remedy channel. If there's one thing we love on this channel, it's stoves. Well, and coffee, and hidden woodsman gear, and knives. Anyway, I love stoves, and I have looked at a lot of them in the past. I've only looked at one remote canister stove, and that's the Covea Spider. Now, traditionally, remote canister stoves are fairly heavy. They're thought of as more robust stoves, and that's led me away from carrying them because they're just quite a bit heavier. But that's not necessarily the case any longer, and I found a really nice stove on AliExpress.com by Fire Maple. Stay tuned, we're going to check out the Fire Maple 117T, a super lightweight remote canister stove. Thanks for watching. start by taking a good look at this stove and looking at the specs. You can see it comes with a very nice little case here. This is the stove itself. Let's start by weighing this thing. It claims to weigh 98 grams. So let's see how close to their claim it is. Put it on kilograms. Let's weigh it. Well, I wouldn't call that 98 grams. I'd call that 103. We will weigh it one more time to see. And we've got 102. So 102, 103 grams a little bit more than the 98 gram claim. Overall, as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward design. It's got legs here on the bottom that fold out just like that. And then it sits flat like that. The top, these little legs just come out and it gives you a very nice and stable platform. Folded, it's three by three by three and a half and unfolded like this, it's 5.7 inches by 5.7 inches by three inches this way. It gives you a nice little profile. Couple things to note about this, it does not have a preheat tube, okay, so you can't use this at super low temperatures. It also does not have any lip here, so the wind protection will be pretty minimal. It also does not have a built-in piezo igniter, so you will need a way to actually light the flame. Now that's not unlike a lot of stoves out there, so it's not anything negative, just pointing these things out. It is nice because it will hold a variety of stoves. This, for example, is the stainless steel mug from the Pathfinder School, and it fits very, very well. You could fit something quite a bit smaller if you wanted to. It also will hold things like this canteen cup pretty easily, just like that. So if you're using a canteen cup, you can also use this stove. Attaches to the gas right over here, pretty straightforward. As you can see, it's made by Fire Maple. This is made out of titanium, and that is why it's so lightweight. Again, nice look at the design, very nice design. It claims to boil one liter of water in three minutes and 25 seconds. Now we all know that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna do my standard two cup bowl test and see how much gas it uses. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. It's not as cold in my shop as it has been for some of my recent tests. So the water is only at what, 59 degrees. I weighed my gas canister. I got 264 grams. So we're going to set this to go and see how long it takes to get this to a boil. Again, this is two cups of water. That on, turn this on, and turn it up as high as it will go, which is about right there. And let's see what we get. That's one minute, we're up to 97 degrees. All right, up to two minutes and 149 degrees. All right, three minutes, 195 degrees. We're getting pretty close here. All right, 212, 333. Turn that off. So three minutes, 33 seconds for a boil, and we stopped our gas pretty quick. So that's not too bad. Let's see how much gas we used. So that's a quick look at the Fire Maple 117T. I think it's a pretty nice remote canister stove for the weight in particular. It's not surprising for the claimed weights to be just a little bit off from the actual weights, and I think four grams, it's not far off. We're looking at 102 grams in comparison. My Covea Spider comes in right at 200 grams, so about twice as heavy. In the past, I used my remote canister stove mainly when I wanted increased stability. It gives such a wide base and a nice stable base that if I'm using a bigger pot, something like that, I'll use the remote canister stove. They also tend to give you very good control as far as how much flame you're using, and this one's no different. It does have very good flame control, which I'm very pleased with. Just the sheer bulk of the Covea stopped me from taking it sometimes out 
on the trail. It's really not that big. I'm not trying to make it sound, but when you compare it to an alcohol stove or something like that, you're looking for reasons to take it and the size just isn't one of them and the weight definitely isn't either. This stove changes the equation to some extent because it's very similar in weight to some of my other canister stoves. My favorite canister stove is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It's 83 grams, not far off of the 100 grams, so really not a big difference. This stove is really compact, it's lightweight, it's very stable and has great flame control. It breaks down very small and allows you to fit it inside of a cook kit very easily. Basically it's lightweight and powerful enough to go into any of my ultralight cook kits. Of course there are cons to every product and I see a couple of big cons on my end with this particular stove. There's no doubt that it's going to be very susceptible to the wind. It has no protection in and around that burner and any wind that comes through is really going to make it struggle. This particular test was done indoors, very, very controlled environment. I'm going to take it out and repeat a test probably down the road when there's maybe some wind involved. I think it's definitely going to make a difference. Anytime you're out and you're using these canister stoves, you really have to watch out for the wind. We've had a whole discussion here in multiple videos in the past about whether it's safe to use a windscreen or not. You can go back and check those videos out if you want. Bottom line for me is it is safe to use a windscreen if it's used appropriately. You keep it far away from the gas and from the flame and you make sure it doesn't get too hot. So if you do that with this stove as well, I think you're gonna limit those losses. Any of these remote canister stoves are gonna suffer from the same problem. It also does not have the preheat tube I talked about. Now I live in Louisiana, I never really am very cold, so I don't have that problem. But if you frequently backpack or hike out in very cold weather, below freezing type weather, this stove may not be best for you. You are not able to invert the canister and use it in colder weather, so just think about that. Overall, this stove was just what I do often. I searched on AliExpress, I saw it, I saw the weight, and I thought, man, this is a really, really cool option. I'm gonna pick it up. The price on this stove was also very reasonable. It was $30, now you do have to wait a little while. I waited about 20 days or so for it to get shipped from China, which is not bad, considering the fact that it was free shipping, and I got it for 30 bucks. That is a good price for this stove. Do me a favor, guys, if you like videos like this, and you like this particular one, hit that thumbs up button. That helps tell YouTube that this video doesn't suck. Obviously that helps the channel a lot, and if you think it doesn't suck, hit the thumbs up. I guess if you think it sucks, you can hit the thumbs down too. That's good too. Thumbs down, they're okay as well. I have over 45 stove videos on my stove's playlist. I'll leave a link down below. All kinds of builds, testing, lots of cool stove stuff. If you like stoves, check out that playlist. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. If you wanna make sure you get all my videos, hit that ding dong bell. And as always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.